Mushrooms are amazing. They can feed you, they can heal you, and they can kill you. In this video, I want to look at 10 amazing mushroom facts. First up then, mushrooms are more closely related to animals than they are to plants. So traditionally people thought that mushrooms were part of the kingdom of plants, but as it turns out they're not. Uh, both fungi and animals share a common ancestor, which was a single-celled organism, a little bit like the modern day sea sponge. Now, I've always thought that mushrooms look a, ver a lot like sea sponges and a lot like going underwater when you walk into the fruit room, and that explains why. And did you know that the largest living organism in the world right now is actually a humongous fungus? It's what to gardeners, um, gardeners despair of this type of fungus. It's known popularly as the honey fungus and it can kill trees as well as woody shrubs. And one particular type of honey fungus over in Oregon was analysed by a team of US scientists and it was found to have colonised, taken over an area of nearly four square miles, which is almost 10 square kilometers. Can you imagine the size of this thing? It was believed to be nearly 2,000 years old, well, between 2,000 and 9,000 years old, and that's just mind boggling stuff. The most expensive mushroom in the world is not a truffle. So I actually thought that this was the most expensive mushroom in the world, and if you look in the Guinness Book of World Records, it lists the white truffle as the most expensive edible mushroom in the world fetches a price of around about $3,000 per kilogram. However, there is a mushroom in the Himalayas called the Yatsa Gumbu, which fetches a much higher price of around $70,000 per kilogram. This uh, amazing little mushroom that grows out of the uh, dead body of an insect, and it's highly prized for its medicinal properties, of which people will pay a huge sum. And most of us know that mushrooms can kill you as well. And the death cap, the one you see on your screen in particular, is responsible for a lot of these deaths. A very small part of this seemingly innocent looking mushroom can be very deadly indeed. So half a cap, about 1.1 ounce of this mushroom, is enough to cause serious health issues. So these health issues start to appear after six to 12 hours of consumption of this mushrooms, where you get various complaints, leading eventually to failure of the kidneys, failure of the liver and problems with the central nervous system. This can lead to a coma followed by death. And for the death cap, this is the case for 50% of the cases of consumption. On a lighter note, did you know that some mushrooms are able to emit light? There are around 75 species of mushrooms that glow in the dark. I've actually grown one of them myself. Take a look at this picture here. This is uh, Panellus stipticus. Years ago I became fascinated with bioluminescent fungi and I started growing them and I had a friend who was a photographer take these amazing pictures. Now it's not really known why exactly they emit light like this. Some people think it has an evolutionary purpose to help the spread of spores by attracting insects and other animals to graze on them. However, other people have pointed to the fact that the mycelium itself glows and that may indicate that it's actually to, to deter uh, grazing uh, by other animals which would otherwise kill the mycelium. It's one of those wonderful mysteries. And mushrooms can be your medicine as well. Think about all of the healing compounds that you can find in mushrooms like reishi, shiitake, maitake, there's lion's mane. There's a whole host of mushrooms which have amazing compounds that we can use to our advantage, be it in a tincture or a pill or just consumed whole. And a mushroom like chaga has been consumed since the 16th century, both in North America, but also in Siberia. And even further back, 3000 years BC, there were instances of the use of mushrooms as medical, uh, for its medical properties. So they found a man called Utsli in, he was in a frozen mummified condition. He had two mushrooms on him. One was used as a, uh, to start a fire and the other one was a medicinal polypore which was used to fight off infections. So this is people using mushrooms to their advantage. And let's not forget it's not just the medical compounds in mushrooms, it can also be the properties that are in fungi. And the first time this was really harnessed and put to our advantage was in 1928 by Alexander Fleming 
who invented or rather stumbled across something called, we now call penicillin. The importance of this invention is, is hard to overestimate really. I mean, some claim that it even led to a distinct advantage in the Allies winning World War II. So at the start of 1944, there was a huge effort to push and increase the production of penicillin in the States ahead of D-Day landings. Some mushrooms can turn ants into zombies. So a minute ago I mentioned how this cordyceps in the Himalayas fetches a really high price and there are similar varieties that grow in the tropics that actually take over and kill their host in this incredible way. So the way it works is the spores land on the ant, uh, it goes and grows inside of its body and infects it. Uh, not just that, but it actually changes the behaviour of the ant, so it makes it move away from its nest and walk to a, an area around about 25 centimetres off the ground where the perfect humidity conditions exist for the fungus to continue growing through the ant's body. It then makes it latch onto a leaf with its mandibles and hang there until it dies, whereupon the uh, fungus completely eats the inside of its body, grows a mushroom outside of its head so that it can spread its spores and go on further. What a crazy mushroom that is. This one really blew me away when I came across it first. There are six times more fungi than plants in this world. And of course it doesn't mean that there are six times more mushrooms than plants in this world. There are about 10,000 known species of mushrooms and only a very few of those we can cultivate. That 10,000 might sound like a large number, but mycologists around the world believe that it's only the start and there's many, many more types that we simply don't know about yet. So in 2018, the world famous Botanical Royal Botanical Gardens in Kew in London launched a report um, called the State of the World's Fungi. And this report identified that there were six times more fungi than plants and I think that's just an absolute mind-boggling statistic. It also means that we're at the forefront of probably discovering many many more of these types of life. Fungi flourish in absolutely any conceivable environment, so deep sea vents, coral reefs, um, there's volcanic vents and even the driest deserts in Antarctica. Mushrooms can help cure a range of different mental health problems. So there are more than 200 varieties of mushrooms that contain psilocybin, which is a psychoactive ingredient that produces effects like euphoria, spiritual experience, uh, change in perception of time. And this is not a new thing. People have been taking psychoactive mushrooms in religious ceremony for thousands of years. But more recently, a number of studies have shown a lot of benefits that it can bring for people suffering from things like anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, OCD. So some people think in the years ahead that psilocybin will be used in place of antidepressants. And then finally there's this amazing fact and that's that mushrooms can create their own wind. Yes, you heard that right. So a mushroom doesn't drop its spores like a tree drops its leaves just simply where it is. If it were to do that, chances of it surviving would be slim to none. So what the scientists that looked into this discovered is that the mushrooms actually generate their own wind to aid with the spore dispersal. So what the scientists did was use high speed videography as well as advanced mathematical modeling. And you can see some of their study results on your screen right now. What they discovered using Oyster mushrooms as well as shiitake mushrooms is that mushrooms can, through a system of evaporative cooling, actually create their own wind. They create an airflow and this in turn helps with the dispersal of the spores. Isn't that absolutely amazing? So I hope like me that you really enjoyed looking into these amazing, amazing facts and that you learned something today. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.